Hi guys, welcome to Kessie's Cuisine. We have been making amazing dishes from the comfort of your home. If you're new to my channel, what's up? And if you're old, hello. Good to see you again. Today we are going to be making a very interesting recipe and it is called mango habanero wings with potato by the side. I'm going to walk you through the ingredients that we are going to get right into the video. Firstly, we are going to be using some winglets. Here I have about 16 winglets. They are just like normal wings. I just chopped them into two. Now you get your winglets, whatever size you do, or you can use ties, or you can use what whatever you want to use actually. But I just prefer to use wings. And for my spice selection, I'm going to be using lots of paprika because paprika is kind of like a very important recipe uh, spice in this recipe. I'm also going to be using lots of garlic because I like garlic in my grilled chicken. We're also going to be using ginger. We're also going to be using some chicken spice and we're going to be using baking powder. Now baking powder is optional but it just gives the chicken that extra crispiness to get. But when you're making yours, I would say that you should add little baking powder, not so much because I had like about three packs there. We're also going to be using the key or the star boy for the show. It is mango. Try to get something sweet. And we're going to be using atarado. Atarado is actually a habanero in English. You get so they get confused. We're also going to be using some lime and butter. We're also going to be using honey to make the sauce. Now let's get into the main main activity. You want to be using a paper towel or a serviette to dab out any extra moisture from your chicken winglet just make sure it is dry as possible so that your spices can really to get stay with your chicken and not run all over it we're going to dab that until it is dry after that we are going to be adding our spice we're going to be adding our garlic ginger seasoning cubes and paprika make sure not to add too much spice to your chicken winglets when you're when you're spicing because yeah because remember that your sauce is also going to be there we're going to be adding to our paprika lots of paprika and we're just going to stir <coughs> that until every single chicken is well coated with spice if you can see from the video i'm using my fork to kind of stab my chicken not stab violently but I just want to make sure that all the spice really really enter into the chicken wings you get so you do that or you can use a knife to just give it some little incisions to make sure that the chicken is real well spiced and all of it so you put your you can marinate your chicken for about one hour or overnight if you are not in a hurry then after that you're going to be adding your baking powder to your chicken and when you add your baking powder also make sure that every single chicken is coated well coated if you want to use your hands please do use your hands i didn't even know why i didn't use my hands <laughs> use your hands to really rub all the spice into that chicken you know after that you're going to be putting these beautiful babies in the oven or your air fryer i already preheated my oven 360 degrees so you're going to just put it and make sure that you give it some space to cook properly like don't be, don't crowd your chicken don't crowd your baking rack <laughs> or your air fryer give it space so that the chicken cooks properly just like this give it space make sure that everything is you know well spaced out then when you're done you can you can put it in the oven and then you check it subsequently or from time to time then we we'll prepare our potato wedges or potato chips whatever how you cut it add in your spice whatever um, selection you prefer if you don't really like spice just put in a little bit of salt and put the and put it in the oven i added a little bit of oil to make sure that the potato was not sticking to my baking pan to get marinate your potato very well or rubbing all the spice into your potato very well not marinate just rubbing the spice into it and put it in the oven 
then when everything was baking and, and grilling i decided to make my sauce for the wings now you want to cut your mango into half I, when i use this half mango after i was done with my sauce i still had an extra sauce with me you get so using a whole mango you have you, you would have extra sauce so you can just use half then you want to cut it vertically and then horizontal to get out the fruits from the skin for me that's the easiest way actually to get out the skin from mango so the way i'm doing in the video cut it vertically and then horizontally to get and then just pop the fruit out and take out all the fruits so when i was done with that i put my you get a blender and then i just put my mango fruit into the blender and then i added my habanero peppers if you want your sauce to be very hot you can just add three like i did or if you want it not to be so hot you can remove the seed from your pepper to avoid it to be very very hot and very very spicy you get so i added onion and then i just added a little bit of water to enable it blend now if you want to be doing your sauce for me if i if i would do this recipe again or when i do this recipe again i will make sure that my sauce is very smooth or my blending mix is very smooth you get like a kind of smoothie consistency i don't know i just feel it to be better but this one was very nice though but i just think i'll do that next time so when i was done with my blending mix i um you put that in the pot a little pot and then you just make sure that you cook everything so that your blend mix your blend mix is cooked before you add it to your chicken now you want to give that a stir make sure you are present for your cooking don't let it burn i added a little bit of butter because i wanted it to have a very buttery kind of flavor and then you just mix all that in together i added my honey i added just one spoon of honey <laughs> i added just one spoon of honey to my mix and you just stir all that in so that your honey gets dissolved and your butter and when i was done with all of that i added half lemon juice or half lime juice i just added half lime juice to my sauce to give it to like hold it all together so when i was done i stirred that for about another five minutes and my sauce was ready now by this time it was about 20 minutes i already flipped my chicken both sides so that like the chicken can grill both sides both sides can cook properly and when both sides cook properly my chicken wings were already looking so pretty and well cooked but i'm going to add my sauce to my chicken right now make sure i stir everything very well and then i'll pop that back into the oven for about another 5 or 15 5 to 10 minutes so you're just adding your sauce add your sauce to your chicken make sure you mix that very very well put it back in the oven for it to for the sauce to stick very well to the chicken but some people prefer to use the sauce to marinate the chicken from the beginning and put it you put the sauce in the chicken when it is cooked again so this was my chicken after 10 minutes 10 minutes of adding my sauce this was how my chicken was looking it was looking beautiful it was looking mm, spot on <laughs> so nice I was already tempted to taste one I was just tasting heavily and you can see how beautiful this chicken cooked how well it looks and believe me it tastes amazing as well so I served my chicken with my potato and some carrots and cucumber for vegetables by the side now guys tell me if you try this recipe tell me what you think comment down in this um, comment section and i'll see you in my next video bye love you